Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here with the Toasty Bros, and today I'm finally going to be showing you guys my new setup. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so a few of you may have already seen this in a little sneak peek that Matt and I did in a live stream, which was really cool. It was uh, Toasty Bros Live, so if you want to, you can go check that out. It's on our channel. It was a really cool event though, and I actually showed my new setup live. Um, it was actually unseen before, and I decided, you know, why not show it on that as like a sneak peek, but I know a lot of you probably did not see it, and there's probably a lot of new people to the channel too, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a little overview of my whole setup. Okay, so to start off, we're going to talk about the desk itself. So the desk itself is a 5 foot desk. It's about 0.75 thick plywood, and what I do is I stained it with a stain called honey, and then I clear coated it with two coats of uh, full gloss clear coat. So it actually turned out pretty good in my opinion. It has a fair amount of shine to it as you can see um, and it's not too overwhelming or anything. And then I did sand it down so it's fairly smooth but you can still see the plywood is not perfect and there is a lot of divots and stuff like that in it but a lot of people seem to like it and I really like it a lot too. I think it kind of looks antique but at the same time you know it has a, a newer feel to it so I definitely like that um, aspect of it a lot. And starting off from left to right, we have the Cooler Master Storm keyboard and mouse combo. So I picked these up for about 30 bucks on Amazon. I think you can still find them there for that price too. It's a prime item, so you can get the two-day shipping or even one day. You can get multiple colors of this, and then you can also, for I think it's around 50 bucks, you can get a combo like this where the keyboard and mouse you can actually change the colors of. I don't know if it's RGB, I want to say it's... Um like a 10 different color choice thing but it still is really cool you can change the colors for that price and but uh, this keyboard specifically like I said it was only 30 bucks and I like it a lot um, it's not mechanical kind of give you guys a it's kind of what it sounds like and then the mouse sounds like pretty much other any other mouse I've ever used you can hear the mouse wheel has a little bit of squeak to it, um, but you know that doesn't bother me too much. It does have two macros on the mouse, and then it has a DPI switch on it too. And as you can see, they both glow. You can turn the glow of the keyboard off and uh, back on. The mouse just pretty much stays on. And then there's also some other, uh, you know, options in the keyboard like play, stop, and volume, and everything. So it is a really nice keyboard though, and it's fairly uh, small, but it does have the full numerical keyboard and everything. So I like it a lot, and for the price, you know, I, you really can't beat it. Uh, here's my cup holder, which is <laughs> actually two cup holders here. This one's like a one from a restaurant that I kind of keep on here for when I have friends over. You know, I'm just gonna just gonna throw it real quick. Um, and then the other cup holder was just a picture that my mom gave me, and we put in a little glass cup holder um, or holster, I guess you could call it. And then the speakers that are hidden back here, I'm gonna go ahead and show these because they're pretty far over. There's some Dell speakers. And then you can see there is a subwoofer over here. I do not know the model of them. That's why I called them Dell speakers. <laughs> um, I mean, they're fairly cheap and they're pretty old, but they sound pretty good. They have good quality. The bass, I can say, is not you know insane or anything. It does, even with the sub turned all the way up, there's not much to it. I've had much better subs, but uh, it doesn't matter too much to me because I have other things to listen to music on anyways. So let's go ahead and go to the monitor. The monitor right here is actually one that I just did a review on. It's a 24 inch Acer monitor. Um, the exact model number, I'm not too sure, but if you look at that video, you'll see it. And then the other monitor over here is also an Acer monitor. They're basically the same exact uh, monitor. You can see they have all the same exact specs and everything. The only difference is the fact that this one's a 23 inch and this one's a 24 inch. Um, and in the video, other video, I explain why I got that. It was kind of like a Black Friday thing and the 23 inch was not even close to sale price. Um, they have the same exact settings and I haven't really tried playing with them because I know the color is like way off. Um, but I'm not, I'm not completely too worried about that right now, and I will play with them eventually though and try to get them to match each other. But like I said, I've gone through some of the settings and they're the exact same. The camera up here is a Kodak S101. I believe it is not HD at all. <laughs> um, this is not the one we used in the live stream. This one's just like a cheaper one. It does, um, you know, it, it does the job though. I think it does up to like, uh, I don't know, like 720 something. It's not 720p uh, though. It's like a weird number. It might be a little less than... Um, the 700 resolution. I, it's a weird number though and I know it's not HD. Um, like I said, it gets the job done and I, I wouldn't normally use it to record. I just use it if I'm gonna Skype my friends or something like that, which is you know pretty rare that I need to use my camera. Um, and then going over here to the actual build. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and start naming some of the things off in here and I'll take off the 
little panel right here. So this is an acrylic panel. Um, I had to cut it myself and everything. You can see it's not perfect by any means, but um, it has some smudges on it right now too. But it's not too scratched up or anything yet. Um, and I, I've had it, this panel has been on my computer for maybe six months or something like that. And uh, it's, it's worked really well. So in the computer itself, I don't have anything too fancy, but I'll just go ahead and start naming everything off. I have an Insognia 520 watt power supply. Power supplies I've never really been too worried about, honestly. I've never had a certified one, and I've never had one go out on me, so um, I'm not really a you know huge worry about power supplies. I would upgrade if um, you know if need be, but you know like I said, I haven't needed to yet, so I won't do that until I need to. The RAM is HyperX. It's two uh, two sticks of four gigs. It's 1600 speed. Um, it's like, uh, I think a uh, Black Series or something like that, HyperX Black Series, so I guess in some way it's special, or just black. <laughs> um, and then you can see we have a Corsair 120mm fan over here, and then there's also a 120mm fan, it's the same exact one on the back of this radiator, um, and that radiator connects to the HADI, or that's what this whole unit is, and you can see it has a water block on it that actually changes colors, the little Corsair logo cycles through different colors, you can customize it any way you want, I have it to where it just cycles through like a rainbow color, and I think it looks really cool and I like it a lot. You can see also I have blue lights in here to add to the um, colorfulness and I can turn them off through the I.O. over here where I installed the switch for it. And you can see I actually had to extend them. I had to do some shrink wrap and do some wire splicing and extend them because the other um, computer I had it in, they didn't require them to be this far apart but then this one I had to make them a little longer to fit. And then the graphics card is an R9, see I always get this one mixed up with a 280, it's an R9 380, not 380X, just a 380, it's just the 2G model so it only has 2 gigs of VRAM, but um, honestly from my video test I've not needed more um, in any games, I've been able to play them all in Ultra and get around 60 FPS so, or more, so, um, and that's just for the games I play like Crisis and uh, Forest, um, Killing Floor 2, and that's pretty much it. Then the motherboard is an MSI 970 Gaming. I've had this board for a while now, and I can tell you that this board really keeps up well. I've, if you guys have looked at any of our videos, I've had it in some really weird cases. Like I've had it in a few cardboard cases, and everyone was telling me I was going to ESD it within a month. And yeah, this this board's been around for a year or two now, so it's not a problem with that. And then I have two hard drives. I have a one terabyte at 7200 RPM, and then a uh, 1.9 or no 1.5 at 5900 RPM drive. Um, they both work pretty good. I haven't had any problems with them or anything yet, so I'm happy about that. I would like to do SSDs sometime, but uh, that'll be in the future for sure. And so that's pretty much it for the computer. I hope I named Oh wait, you know what? I forgot what was under the water. I forgot what was under the water block. Uh, under the water block is an AMD 6300 Black Edition, which I think that's the only one you can really get now is Black Edition. I don't know if they even made a normal 6300. I'm not too sure on that. But it is operating at 4.4 gigahertz right now. I've had it up to 4.8 in this water cooler with no problems. The only thing, um, the only reason I'm not running it like that right now is because Matt and I, yeah, Matt and I were doing a live stream and I did not want my computer to, you know, possibly crash. So I just downclocked it a little bit uh, just to be safe because I have had some problems before with um, games like that becoming unstable. So it's been really good at 4.4 though, so I'll probably leave it like that. And then you can see what's holding this whole computer up, I just bumped my chair, is this wood case that I made for it. And then you can see I stained the wood on the side too, and then there's just a big piece of plywood on the bottom. And then there's a motherboard tray inside of here that holds it all in. So it's actually a really simple design, and you can see I have one screw here, and then one screw diagonally from it. Um, and it, it is really sturdy, like as in, you know, if you were to kick it or anything, it's not going to fall down. So. I do like it a lot though, and I really, I don't know why, I just, I just like the design of having a computer inside of your um, desk, I just think it's really unique, when people see it, you know, they're like, whoa, that's pretty crazy. And then, pretty much lastly, we have this little box right here, it's just a three door, um, you know, Rubbermaid type box. You can see in this top shelf, I keep my GoPro Hero 4 Silver Edition. I did have a bunch of other spots for mounts and stuff, but I don't have them in there right now, they're in a box at the moment. Um, and then this one is just like some old phone cases and other random stuff and then I don't even think I can get the bottom one. Yeah, I haven't had the bottom one open forever because it's been stuck and I don't really need anything from it But it's just a bunch of cables um, So once I need some from there, I'll definitely break it open and then up here is all my USB drives and SD cards They're kind of buried under other stuff. Here's some laptop. Oh my god I 
just witness that. I'm gonna have that in slow motion. How dangerous that just was. Um, and then I have a little dragon cut that my uncle drew for me uh, forever ago. It's probably like 10 years old and sharp. It's pretty cool though. And then just a little cup of uh, like tickets and other random stuff like that. I'm gonna debit credit. You just wanna steal that? Um, and then uh, here's a 250 gig um, external drive. I couldn't think of the name. Um, it's just like a normal, I think it's 5900 RPM. So it's not an SSD or anything, it's an actual hard drive. But I do use it for uh, random things every so often, like to transfer data, like bigger files and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the setup and even the live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was a lot of fun to build. It took me a while, but it was a lot of fun. So stay tuned for more videos because Matt and I are going to be pumping out some really cool stuff soon. And we think you guys will like it. Hope you guys enjoy.